Remaining. All right, here we go, everybody. This is Triumph of Man casting the deciding Reserve match time. between LGD and Beachy Gaming. This is Star Series Season 11 playoffs. Now, both teams one loss away or one victory away from moving to the next round. <clears throat> so, LGD, they start off strong in the game one. They took that fairly convincingly against VG. VG, unfortunately, falling prey to some Batrider shenanigans with Radiant a, team a gem screwing over the Ninja Assassin team. Game two, though, oh boy. Laser Chicken deployed, LGD just getting absolutely crushed. I'm going to throw it down though, I feel the itemization on Doom. Doom was a great pick, just itemization was bad, and then the play from him, not the best. Dire Dooming, team bad. Just, he got one good priority Doom in the entire game, and by then it was just too damn late. But anyway, game three, it's a clean slate, we'll see what happens this time around. This, oh, again, the ET for from LGD. Avicii, though, following up with the Batrider first ban. There's some respect there to In July. In July, though, cracking remaining. first game. Completely controlled the pace of it with that gem work there on his bat. Unfortunately, Five game two, I feel, like he, I feel like he kind of let his team down a bit. But regardless, this time around, Avicii banning out the bat again. Reserve LGD, time. we'll see what their second ban is. Death Prophet? I mean, Death Prophet's been sneaking through time and time again. A bit interesting to see who get through. The banning phase, but I guess a lot of heroes just kind of running up there in terms of priority bans for both teams. I'm kind of surprised the Lycan really isn't considered as much of a threat. I mean, we've been seeing the Brood get banned out both games in a row, actually. Titan a ban again. He's been first banned material team both banned. previous games. Banned by VG as well as LGD. But Ogre this time. First pick both games Dire in a row. This time pick. will be first banned here by VG game. We'll see what LGD have in mind instead. Last match, they were willing to play a Brewmaster into a Skyrath Mage. Ultimately, I mean, it took him a while to use BKB, but I don't think that was the biggest issue that LGD had. But this time around, they have the same desire. They could first pick the... They could first pick the Skyrath Mage to try and dissuade VG from grabbing the Brew themselves, and then grab it themselves after, because Panda, of course, can do some really, really strong work. Five seconds remaining. But with the ogre taken out this time, we'll see what's first. Pick, what the first pick choice is. Reserve for LGD. time. As they're going to take their time on this one, but overall, so far, some really similar bands. Some really, yeah. Neither team has really adapted their bands all that much. Oh, well, actually, I'll take that. Vici has adapted their bands more. They're getting rid of the bat rider, and then decided, you know, we don't want to play the ogre this time. We don't want to deal with it, so they're just going to ban it out. But LGD sort of have seem to be rolling with the same game plan here. See if they try and get something like a morphling out. Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit, though, picked again for LGD. They did Radiant good work with the game pick. one. We'll see what they go with in game number two. Vici, on the other hand. With the Batrider out of the pool, will we see the return of the Ninja Assassin squad? I mean, it was it was doing okay in game one, and then the gem came out, and just did, everything just fell apart so damn quickly. Just did not get that map control that they wanted. Just one pick off away, just one kill on that Batrider, and game one could have very easily been Vici's. 10 I seconds think. I mean, remaining. they couldn't just do something simple here. Just go, you know what? Let's just get Skyrath sent off. Easy stuff. Five dissuades the panda. It's, just, it's all around. It's all around nice. And of course, Skyrath Mage against Ember Spirit. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Really, really strong stuff against him. So, plausible, I think. VG, though, going to eat up their reserve time at the moment. Didn't chew as much as LGD, though. Holy crap. <laughs> 40 seconds. They've really burned their reserve time down. And there we go. We'll be the Sky at birth, but they go for the Vibe. Oh, Ember. Dire team Ouch. pick. They might actually move them away from the solo mid now. That They know they have to deal with a Viper. I mean, they could even pick something like a Razor to go solo mid against the Viper. Plausible. All right. Yeah, I think that could happen. We'll see. And also, Razor is one of the harder heroes for Skyth Mage to spam harass. Because, I mean, you try and spam him with Arcane Bolts, and then suddenly you're eating so many freaking unstable currents to the face. It is actually, it's actually really, really painful. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, yeah, we'll see where they go with this, though. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. LGD again, though. Eating into this reserve time. I think they're really blimmering. This is, I feel like this is that Viper pick is just throwing a spanner on the way. It's like, holy crap, okay. Do we do we play the Ember Spirit or do we just give it up? No, they're going to go with the Doom. All right, Dire so off Doom again, most likely. Again, he's got that backup plan. As we see the Drow, 
Band up by LGD. I think that's a pretty solid choice. The drow really? early harass. Team like band. Scarf Mage's early harass is already obnoxious. You throw on the drow precision aura and just goes through the roof. It is absolutely insane. And the viper again, just the damage is just he already dominates the land. It just gets worse. So I think drow a solid Ten band there. Ten seconds remaining. From LGD. Yeah. Now the ball's back in. Oh, okay. Tusker. Dire I mean, team the band. hero has got some shenanigans. I don't really see him as first. Is band worthy with Tura? I don't know. We'll see. Blink Snowball is pretty funny, I've got to say. Blink Snowball to save people into a turnaround gank is some of the funnest stuff you can do in this game. Ten seconds remaining. MGD, though. Fourth ban. Five uh, seconds remaining. Gaming's probably got the... I mean, Viper is probably... I mean, they probably might even throw just try and have the Viper chase Radiant the Emma Spirit around different lanes. But it looks like they're just getting... Uh, LG, you know what? Let's just give it to Death Prophet. It's just a solid ban all around. And also, it's actually pretty good against... The Sans, again, against Ember Spirit, strong. He doesn't tend to like to build stuff at the BKB. And then, of course, Spirits just chop right. They just completely bypass his Flame Guard, so he's very, very squishy. Ten seconds remaining. I feel like they have the answer to it, though, in the form of a Doom, but as we Five saw, LGD, they just remaining. didn't really get it working last match, so we'll see. Fourth ban from Vici coming up. Going to go into their reserve time Reserve again. time. LGD right now, they're looking for supports, and I think Vici might just start banning out supports that they don't really want to deal with. Yeah, there we go. Ancient Apparition is one. Still take that out. Ooh. Radiant Team Heck. It's like a Morphling come up. I'm Morphling with Scarth Mage. Like, Morphling actually goes really well with Scarth Mage as well. If that damage amp on his nuke is so good. And he's one of the heroes that Scarth Mage can shop, harass a bit, and they can quite plausibly get a kill too. The slow into a waveform and the Ancient Seal just they can quite easily snag kills. And because Morphling is relatively self-sufficient, you can get him a quick advantage void. and just leave, but it will be okay, a Faceless Void. Dire team Although that could be offlane Faceless Void, so we'll see. We will see. That could well be an offlane Faceless Void. In fact, I think it probably will be offlane Faceless Void. LGD, the question is, will they get something to deal with the Faceless Void? Anything is simple. I mean, stuff as simple as... Uh, like a silencer is really useful as well. Anything to stop people from dumping DPS. Like Skyrath Mage again, combos so good with Faceless Void as well. Chrono Ten Spirit or Mystic remaining. Player, somebody is dead. And then with Vengeful Spirit we picked up. There's a Radiant little bit of a counter, not the best in the Wow. Okay, Terror Blade. And that's one way. I mean, yeah, Terror Blade, you don't really want to play against Dire the Ancient Apparition. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Sunder goes through Ice Blast. I mean, it is a heal, but I think. It actually bypasses it, if I remember correctly, because it's a health swap. There's a lot of stupid rules in Dota, and I think that's one of those stupid rules where a heal is not a heal, but it is a heal. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure actually Ice Blast does remaining. not affect Sunder. I'm sure someone will yell at me in chat in a minute if I'm wrong. But... Five seconds remaining. Oh boy, Black. <laughs> Black got terribly LGD. I think LG Reserve right now time. is just like basically smashing their face against it. They go, oh... It's probably like, I think it's probably the only person that you don't like as almost as much. Like you don't want to see Envy playing Terror Blade. Like you don't want to play against Envy with Terror Blade. I think Black is the only other person that just really just, just don't give it to him. Just dear God. Ten seconds remaining. This, this guy farms like a madman. You just don't want him to get this kind of hero. But five so seconds LGD remaining. have in mind to deal with. Wow, Omni Knight. Okay. Uh, Radiant team. There's band. a lot of potential here for Ember Spirit Omni Knight together. I don't know if it's enough though. And Faceless Void's actually a pretty decent Diffusal Blade carrier as well. You can go. Uh, there's a cute build where you can do stuff like uh, Manta Style into a Diffusal, even just an early Diffusal into Manta Style. It's Ten really solid, actually. Remaining. It burns a lot of mana as well. It's just having that purge available against Omni Knight. It's just super, super strong. Five seconds remaining. But at least they have the Vengeful Spirit, so I mean, if they try and lock down a priority target, Faceless Void, with Faceless Void's Chrono, Reserve you can't time. just go, alright, Chrono Spear, Ember Spirit, and then kill him because Vengeful Spirit can just swap him out. So there is that. Uh, LGD. Uh, is that a support Omni or some kind of weird core Omni? I think it's a support. I think it's a four position Omni. So they're looking for if they try and dodge with the Ember Spirit. I think they're looking for a solo mid. Unless they expect the Ember to go to the safe lane, put faceless void in the mid lane. I mean, hell, they could even put Terrorblade in the mid lane. It's, it's fine. It works. Hmm. And Terrorblade is actually pretty good against Ember. Ember tries to start anything. Terrorblade just pops his metamorphosis and beats the crap out of Ember Spirit. His Flame Guard means nothing in the face of just the sheer damage that Terrorblade can throw out. And it will be a Morphling final ban here. Dire Team Ban. Which uh, would have been greedy as all hell, but I mean, it's plausible. It could have done it. They could just try and outgreed them in the late game. 
Rubik the final... Wow, okay. Radiant I, yeah, I guess pick. you can prevent the Guardian Angel steals, but at the same time, Rubik's actually... Well, no, okay, I mean, that settles the deal. It's going to be an Omni Knight support because they're not picking another support because otherwise they would have gone, yeah, Rubik against Chronosphere. It's pretty damn good. We'll pick that. So, yeah. Omni Knight definitely supports. So it looks like they're looking for either a Solar Mid or a Safe Lane Hero, depending where they want to put the Ember Spirit. Whether or not they want to throw him up against the Viper is the real question. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Beat you with their final pick here. Looking for a support, most likely. Reserve time. What would they go? There's something to combo with Skyrath Mage. I mean, they want to be really rest. They could even pick up something like... <laughs> they want to with shenanigans. I'm pretty sure they, they go Shadow Demon and get the Ags to start purging off Omni stuff. No, I feel like they'd probably see something aggressive here. Probably just something like a... Hell, like Ten seconds like a remaining. Nice. I mean, it's more AoE firepower, just more... Five seconds more remaining. More strong AoE firepower, more team fight strength. Because right now they've got face board. Yeah, it will be. There we go. The Sand King. Sand King combo is Dire really nice with Scythe Mage. And if they don't, like, if they lose momentum, they go, okay, we can't really take these fights. He's going, all right, we'll, we'll calm it down. Just go and farm the jungle. And of course, Sand King gets an early blink. He can cause all sorts of havoc. And having a quick blink as well against heroes like Ember Spirit, so, so good. Now, the final pick for LGD is going to be a, a core Jakiro. Okay. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. It's, oh, okay, no. It looks like Silo is going to be playing the Doom in July, playing the Jakiro. It looks like possibly offensive tri lane. Vengeful Spirit Omni Knight Chikiro? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't like that though. No, maybe not offensive draw. I don't know what they're doing. We'll see. Whoops. Bring stuff up in my face. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how they're going to lane this, but yeah. I don't know if they've got the push to make the Chikiro worth it. Because, I mean, yeah, okay, they can try and push a little bit, but they don't have Ten that much seconds push. Remaining. And, when you have, like, sort of minimal push, it's not that they have Exorcism and a whole bunch of Five strong push or Raptor. The problem is they're playing into a Chronosphere, ex a, a Chronosphere, Mystic Flare, Epicenter. That's that's pretty rough stuff. That's that's going to be rough. So I just need to remember to turn this stuff off because people complain about it and that HUD doesn't work with my HUD. There we go. Okay, Prepare fixed. For so let's go with the lineups here. Yeah, I still... I'm not sold on that secure. Anyway, so playing for Beachy Game with the Radiant Sight, FY on the Sand King, Super playing Fight, but Fenrir playing Scythe Mage, Ice Ice. What? Ice 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 on the Terror Blade. Okay, uh, and Black playing Faceless Void. I. What the. F Did they switch names? <laughs> it's like they've switched names. What the. F I, mean, I wouldn't put it past Isis as Black to do this, just re-tag as each other's names, and then just completely screw with the casters. I just... I actually have no idea. Okay. Anyway, as I'm busy being mindfucked, Seven LGD, Yao playing the Ember Spirit, Faith on Omni Knight, In July playing Shakira, Sila on Doom, and MMY on Vengeful Spirit. And we'll see how this one works out. Yeah, there we go. Black, Wilden DB offlaning. With the place void, it's been given, it looks like it'll be doing a solo too. It's been given the solo gear. Sanking, early boots, it's trying to help up set up gangs. Probably see Scarth Mage. Uh, the battle I don't think they'll open up the shot just yet. Level 2 Concussive Shot, that's what they need. And they'll just be able to set gangs from there. Jakiro, though, on the offlaning, is going to be backed tribute. up by Faith. So they're going for dual lanes here. MMY going to be backing up Silo in the safe lane. Meanwhile, mid lane. Ouch. Yeah. That's gonna suck for Yao. There's no two ways about that. At least he's got a poor man shield to start with. He's been pulled some Tangros, but it's gonna be a really... I don't know if... That's where I really go. It's gonna be a really relatively late bottle. And by that time, I mean, Super might have just harassed him out of regen by then. You know, he opens up the poison attack too. He's gonna have Flame Guard disappear in a second here. Actually, no, it's doing some good work. Flame Guard. Yep, there we go. It disappears. Actually, no, eventually the auto-attack his way through this. Maybe Viper getting too aggressive here. Takes a lot of right click damage. Meanwhile, top lane. No. Like the side. Maybe they just expected the dodge here. I don't know. Isis, I said, popping the metamorphosis. Just gonna drive him back. I just don't know what they can do against this. 
a really rough ass. And it, the problem is they're up against, like, it's going to be hard to harass Isis Isis out. And on top of this, they're up against a Skyrath Mage, who is a hell of a lane controlling support. Meanwhile, Sand King just doing jungle stuff here. Going to have his pull, though, interrupted by July. Now swing around. He's got back up here. Fenrir is here. Can he land a stun? He's got the boots. His opponents don't. They could go for this, but he's up against Purification. I don't think he wants to do it. Meanwhile, mid lane. More regen being brought in. Yeah, he goes, alright, screw it. Gotta get more regen out. Brings out the early turn. In fact, Viper does the same thing. So, actually, Yao doing okay. Better than I expected. I mean, the head on CS at the moment, although he's starting to get forced back here. And Viper wants this wall. Once Corrosive Skin comes on as well, it's really just gonna become such a pain in the ass. A smoke up from MY. They might try and set up a gang. I mean, he almost killed Super before. With the help of a magic missile, that could pretty much seal the deal here. See FY just stacking and pulling. No, it's just stacking for the moment, just getting himself set up for his level three. And here comes the wraparound gank here. MMY gonna come through with a stun. Chains. Yeah, there were chains on top of supers. Chains him with a stun there as well. Super in trouble. Barra strike, too late to come through. Yeah, they're taking heavy auto attack hits there from the tower. Should be okay though. It's FY. He doesn't have the follow-up and will have to back off. Lest he get burned down there by that flame guard. The first blood there to Ember Spirit, with the help of the gank there from MMY sets him up. I think this is pretty much set him up. That'll be his bottle coming out. Yeah, there we go. Bottle on the way out now. And that's pretty much set him up for his mid game, for his mid lane here against the Viper. Should be fine now that the bottle's out and he's got that advantage. Meanwhile, bottom line, Ice Ice Ice, 6 and 6 for the moment here. Shakiro, 7 and 1. I mean, he's getting his. F oh, well, there we go. Now the supports have rotated away. They're actually able to harass Ice Ice out here. And this is a bait. Maybe this is a bait from VG. They go, alright, focus all your attention on slowing Ice 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 down. Because right now, Black, Black is just free farming top lane. There's nothing they can do about him. And I mean, he can 1v1. Doom here all day. He's got a poor man's shield. He doesn't even have the backtrack. He'll get backtrack up as well. He's got the bash. He can 1v1 Doom all day. Black. <clears throat> Meanwhile. I said size in the bottom lane. Metamorphosis just to see it. Like, he's metamorphosis just to see it. Meanwhile, mid lane. The damage is there. Oh boy. Down goes the Ember Spirit. They get the return kill there with the help of Fenrir. Supports rotating and ganking the mid lane all day long. Black now. I said black. I said size. Jeez. Ice, Ice, Ice. Possibly gonna die here. Cut through there from MMY. Stun comes out. Purification bomb. There we go. Ice, Ice, Ice is very dead. Nothing he can do at all. Doesn't have the sun to turn. Since he gets damage, he doesn't find it though. We'll get brought down. Attack. Meanwhile, Black top lane still farming away. 10 and 8. Silo though, of course, with the Devour. 19 and 6. Radiance bottom tower. Although Viper is under in the attack. mid lane as well. And Yao. 9 and 3, yeah. See, CS is falling. I got that first blood, though, but CS now hard to come by that Viper's actually got some levels. Level 2 poison tax is still really... Top tower is under attack. Turn goddess. those thumb screws. FYN chased off there by MMY. Doesn't manage to find the rune. His eventual spirit will pick up the bounty. Ember spirit, though, bottles the haste. and might be able to try and set up a kill here. At the very least, if you had to CS aggressively, not worry too much about getting picked off. Faith chasing Ice 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 back. Cast your shadow over them. Silo, I can't, wait, what? Okay, the top lane, alright, they get a pick off there, Black just jumping him. Fenrir again, this hero is so, hitting so hard in the early phase, he's gone for the one, standard 1-1-1 one, one, one there. And two arcane bolts and a concussed shot, all it takes, meanwhile though, bottom lane, possibly trouble, no. Ventral Spirit's off, on a mission to mid, I think she's looking for the Sand King actually, trying to slow down the Blink Dagger, that will definitely, I think this is actually, probably out of all the heroes right now, this is the priority hero that they need to slow down, if FY gets an early timing on his Blink Dagger, that is going to cause so many issues for LGD. You see Alpha Strike potential coming out of FY, along with the Black... Oh, oh, speaking of which, speaking of Chronosphere, not ready yet. Still only level 5, but we'll turn the TP support coming in. It will be Omni Knight showing up to the party. So I'm just finding some more CS. There's 16, though. 17 and 9 now for Black. Meanwhile, mid lane. Yao in some trouble. He's got support, though. MMY rotating through. Doesn't find any kills yet again. I feel like LGD. The supports, a lot of their time is being wasted. They're not getting as much out of this as they'd like right now. Meanwhile, Sand King getting a lot out of his time in the jungle here. There's one stack down. MMY still looking for him. Pops down this water as well to block. And there we go. FY going to walk into him. Is he going to go for the stun and fight? He's got Sandstorm up. In four seconds, no. Decides not to pursue, of course. Doesn't know where that Omni Knight is. Could be right looking for him. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Black, okay, does not opt for any levels in backtrack. Has picked up two in the leap now as well. The time walk. 
And three and bash. Meanwhile, purification to come in here. Uh oh, regeneration room though. Pop there by FY. FY now back off. Amber Spirit wants him. Is there any backup though? They might haste room. Pop by Amber Spirit. Uh, wait, where are you going, yo? Yeah. Right, he's looking for a kill here on Ice, Ice, Ice. Ice is in the trees here. Don't have a level six. Ice path catching, but spotted up by the oh, wave of terror there. Yao just diving in. Ice is looking for Jukes. Not going to find it. A purification bomb. And Omni Knight will take that kill. Actually, pretty important. Omni Knight struggles to get kills or assists. So any early kill for Omni is really going to help out, set, really help out set him up for his mid-game items. It's one of the downsides to playing Omni. Radiant's he really struggles to get any kind of assist gold. Dyer's middle tower TP is under out, attack. They will get the push there on the tier 1. It looks like right now BG not really caring about the tower. Just throwing ISOs under the bus. Looks like he's a total distraction at the moment. They're focusing on getting Black Farm in the top lane. They're just using that threat of the Terror Blade to really get their attention. Meanwhile, Doom in the mid lane. Super in trouble here. Can they get a turnaround kill? Possibly on Yao. Yao goes down here now. Super. They need to deny him. Maybe they can go for a kill on Sino. Sala will just back off. There's the denial there from FY. No more. And in the end, LGD. That gank backfiring horribly. Doom also deployed. And that's Doom down for like a 90 seconds or so. Yeah, Doom down for like 90 seconds. And it's just time that Black can free farm. And not have to worry about this. It looks like he might just go for... Is it a Midas or a Maelstrom? We'll see. Could even just be treads. Sanking level three sandstorm now. Epicenter ready to go as well. Six hundred, seven hundred gold away. There's so now we're gonna see a chronosphere come out. No, nope. he uh uses a TP scroll and then I don't know what the hell is going on there. Chronosphere comes out now. I don't know if he's gonna get this kill though. Ice path's gonna come out as well. Faith should have time to purify. Black now in trouble. Can they get the damage on top of the dots and they're dual breath as well. Black's gonna go down and I think they regret that entirely. Black. What were you doing? Super now as well, trying to walk away from this. Possibly trouble, corrosive skin, no causing issues from Ice Path, though. Slowing down the dots are there as well. Two for one, as the Omni Knight does get burned down in the end. But I think he'll quite happily take those two kills. Black and Viper. Boy and Viper going down there, but just to support Omni. Easily worth it. Emma Y now coming up on the high ground. Will be spotted up, though. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Put some pressure on the Radiant top tower as well with the liquid fire here. Yeah, maxed out liquid fire, and oh, that's really good into. I'm pretty sure they realized that MMY was warding that spot. This ward has given them some. If they managed to. If they realized Radiant the ward, that's really, really good work. We can get that ward Radiant's down there. Radiant's top tower is under attack. From Fenrir. Now it looks like. MMY, he sees them coming. They will just let the tier 1 top go. Fallen. Right now, LGD getting an early tower advantage. Like VG are happy the way things are turning out for now. Isis, Isis, so just looking for farm on the bottom. I'm just looking for his treads, it seems, at the moment. And actually, LGD says, screw it, let's keep the pressure up at the moment. So they Radiant's have got a 1k advantage in gold. Experience wise, around right about 1k in Vici's favor, though. They've had better experience gains just because those stacks have been farming the jungle. Meanwhile, Invis Room pop by, yeah. Oh, easy kill coming out. Purification bomb. Yeah, there we go. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Looks like they haven't Radiant's realized this ward is up here after all. Just attack. going to let it go Dyer's for the moment. Bottom tower is under attack. Port's coming out bottom. Just going to chase Radiant Ice and Ice back from the town. Meanwhile, tier 2 top. This is a relatively unimportant tower. Radiant's top just going to let that go. Not really fallen. mustering any kind of defense for it. Meanwhile, Viper looking for the mechanism. Interesting, he picked the headdress first. Often we see the armor picked up from the buckler first. Now headed to middle. Looks like they're just going to have to keep the death. Like they're just going to, well, screw it. Just keep death balling up. Meanwhile, Jakiro though, porting mid. Yeah, there we go. They're going, all right, let's take the tier one mid as well. Let's just really secure this early tower advantage. But Chronos is ready. Epicenter is ready. And Blink Dagger is here at 10 minutes. This could be the turnaround. The Vici are looking forward to take these team fights with this, basically their huge team fighting alts here. Blank's a bit slow to come to the party though. In fact, he's not coming. I mean, they might just try and get this to go with the Sanking alone. Which, against the Omni Knight, could be trouble if they don't manage to chrono him up. And he's got Guardian Angel, he's got Repel, he's got Heal ready. I don't know if it'll happen. Smoke up from LGD, looking for potential pickoff here. Should walk into the Sanking, and... I think they're going to realize where he is, and they're going to look for this kill. They don't know if he's got the Blink yet, though. That might catch them out Dyer's here. Bottom tower is under attack. Smoke, not disrupted though. They will just walk off. They're just going to walk it off. So they're going to go bottom. Maybe look for Isis. Isis, Isis. They're just using the illusions to push. Cause some pressure on the tier one bottom. 
So they will back off in the fortified. meantime. Both teams backing off here. Takira now looking. He's got his yules looking for a, probably a mech, I guess, next. And I can't really expect Omni Knight to farm one. And with the new mana cost as well, it's a bit expensive for Omni Knight to use. So yeah, probably a mech there for Takira. We'll see, though. Anything to help them sustain these pushes. Really useful stuff. And why now? <clears throat> Picks up another smoke. They didn't get anything out of that smoke except wasted time for Ember Spirit, which is unfortunate. Ember Spirit building. Magic War. Yep, Magic Radiant's War there. Now looking for potential kills here on attack. mid, maybe. I love pushing forwards here. He's got the Doom ready to go. Might try and get it down on top of fire, but Liquid Fire again being tossed in on top of the tower. Just using the Wave of Terror that is Scout. And it looks like they're just going to let this go. For the moment, this guy. Alright, let's just keep Radiant's Let Black Farm. Tower has let fallen. Black Farm. Let Isosos Farm. The way things are going, we're happy with them right now. As Terror Blade now looks for that early. Dyer's top just casual tower Yasher, is under it seems. Attack. TP's top now, just trying to turn this around. Doom still ready to be deployed. Beachy game for the moment. Just happy to dodge fights and just find farm. Now, ISO size already hitting for a monstrous amount there. 160. Invisibility. 190 damage. 12 minutes in. That's absolutely Dyer's insane. bottom tower is under attack. Well, smoke up there from Beachy Gaming. They're hoping someone's going to TP and try and defend. Four heroes top. Dyer's bottom tower no, is under did, attack. Don't Dyer's really care. Meanwhile, Terra Blade gets the kill. <laughs> wow, really? Illusions get the kill on the bottom tower. Yeah, unable to out deny them. Oh boy, Faith now possibly in trouble. Yes, he is very dead. The Sars comes out. And he just gets absolutely wrecked, although Sky <laughs> Thanks just blow his entire mana pool there. So I'm gonna walk into them, decide to back off there. So yeah, you know what? I don't want any of that. I want none of that trouble. I saw this just now. Dyer's this is one of the advantages of having. This kind of carry here. Terra Blade can jungle very easily. He's just going to duck into the jungle down. Just clean that up. Just find his farm there. MMY. Looking for him. In fact, do you think he's looking for the sand? Oh boy. This can be trial. Oh, throws down that ward though. Spots us up. We'll be spotted up though on return. Dyer's top tower and realize he's in fallen. the jungle causing issues. Dyer. We'll lose the tier 1 top. VG again. Just snagging towers. One by one. July. Looking for stacks. Doesn't find any though. Hoping to force him out of the jungle here. As it looks like he's been spotted up though by the illusion there from Terra. But Ice Eyes scouting them out. And by seeing three heroes, it's hey, you're black, you can keep farming for a bit. This should be safe for the moment. The Vici game just focusing on their dodging yeah. here. Purified. They have managed to pull Radiant's ahead in terms of farm as well again. Just barely. Attack. It's pretty much dead even though. Port's coming in black. So you come back there to try to set this fight up. They do have the ult. We've got to remember. In the third, they've been dodging. They can actually try and set up these fights. They've got Chronosphere, they've got Blink Epi. They've got so much firepower they have to offer. Mystic Flare, so many strong ults here. Faith hiding in the trees for the moment, lurking on the high ground in the trees. Adventure Spirit hanging back. She can't swap yet, though. And Sand King's not here, actually. They might just let this one go. This tower just getting hit by liquid fire to liquid fire. Angela happy to chip, chip, chip. Just slowly burn this tower down. Meanwhile, Ice 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 finding farm. Get first, although, unfortunately, they're not finding farm for black at this point in time. He was actually still saving up here. He just went for treads, and he's still saving 2.2k gold. I think they're hoping for an overcommitment here from LG, or possibly for them to start TPing out, looking for other kills elsewhere in the lanes, and then snagging one or two as they try and retreat, as it falls into sort of a messy retreat now. Yao, I think he might have spotted the same game. I'm not dead sure. The ward has spotted Yao, though, from the Radiant Ward there. Radiant structures and are fortified. Glyph being popped. Was FYC? I'm not sure. He's going to walk into Yao here, possibly. This is dangerous. He might walk into the Dire Ward in a Dyer's minute as well. And they've spotted him. He walked attack. into the ward. They go for this kill. It's going to be trouble. Slide of fist. Yeah, hits him, triggers the blink dagger as well. Tower goes Radiant's down, denied there by the Viper. No GD. Beachy Gaming playing super attack. skittish here, playing very safe. Now we're going to leap forward there, use the Yules there on Shakira. Self Yules trying to keep him alive, Chronosphere there now. We've got the... <laughs> Just getting blown up, gets absolutely destroyed. Now, yeah, possibly in trouble here. FY, he's got Fire Strike still, Fire Strike hits two there. Sire now, possibly in trouble as well. Viper Strike already used, Doom down now on top of Super. Super now trying to get free. Yeah, Purified up, doesn't bounce there. Guardian Angel also used, Black jumps forward. It's on top of the Guardian Angel. I know you use it. Oh, cannot do any damage. Super gonna go out of Can they get the deny? No, not quite. FY now in trouble as well. Gonna snag two kills here against oh, against Vici Gaming. LGD snag two. But meanwhile, they lose a tier two tower to Ice Ice Ice. Getting ratted out here by the Terrorblade. Black also just goes top as well. Keeps He's going for the defusal first here. Just let's get this up and running against the Omni Knight. It's like they're going to play the long and slow game here against LGD. Just dodge fights for the most part. Snag a few kills here and there. But they got the tower, which is the important bit, I feel, for them. 
Unfortunately, that did cost him the Viper in return, though. But again, I, the Viper's got most of his core farm down. He's just slowly working towards a BKB. He's already got his mech. It's okay if he dies once or twice at this point in time. It's no big deal. As long as they don't feed away tons and tons of kills. To say the Ember Spirit is going to be okay. I mean, if they if they trading farm on the Viper, like death here on the Viper for a farm on Terra Blade, I think that's easily worth it for VG. And so looking for a pick off here on Yao. Can they find it though? Yeah, they can. They've got the Sans here from the Scarth Mage. And there we go, Blink. Blink Borrow Strike into an Ancient Seal here, and that's a very, there we go, Blink Borrow Strike, Ancient Seal gonna come out here, yeah, no escape for him, easy kill. Each game snagging a nice little pick off, as, uh, I am not really sure, what do they do, I don't think this ha I think they'll expect the Ember to come and help them, but I don't really see them doing this, not without some, yeah, I suppose they got earned maybe, but it'd be a pretty slow Roshan attempt, I don't know, it's questionable at best. Now, Ice, 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 can you put pressure on this bottom lane here? But there is a lot of die ready to try and jump him. He's going to have to be careful. And so he says, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Meanwhile, though, Black, just finding space, top lane, farming away. Diffusal Blade done. There we go. There's the counter to Omni that he needs. Omni Knight now going to become probably a little bit more lackluster. I mean, Purification is nice, but you really pick him for Repels and Guardian Angels. Those are the big two. I am definitely a little bit worried for LGD here. Is it giving a lot of space to Ice? Ice now with the Diffuse Blade. You'll see on top of Viper into the Ice Path as well. In comes the Eel Bomb there. Bonus Strike comes through. Catches two. They will lose the Omni almost immediately. Fire Slider Fist going to come out as well. In July going to go down. Yao trying to get free. Can he get away here? He's got the chase being given here by Fenrir. Oh, by Fenrir. I don't think he's going to get this though. Turns Bonus Strike into a Bonus Strike. Oh no. Ancient Seal as well. Yao making a terrible decision. Will be swapped out. Cronus Beer comes in for Black. He's going on side. They're ignoring Yao for now. It's the wrong choice. They could have killed him. Meanwhile, Side of Fist coming in once again. Doom goes down. Doom being deployed on Black. And now the Urn Burn. No! Ito Sides with a save. Sunder save there on top of Fenrir. We'll keep him alive. The Urn Burn, not enough. And Black, doomed up. Doesn't really care. And Vici Gaming take a great fight there. Keeping everybody alive by the skin of their teeth. And take 2-3 in return. And they'll probably get this Tier 1 there as well. Plenty of illusions to work through. Yeah, with a DD, slide of fists, no cleave just yet. It's a little bit under farmed at this point in time, only 60 CS. We see the net worth value here. Ice Path comes in super though, has overstayed his welcome. They don't quite get the tower, will get denied. So LG did do bring one back at very least there. But again, Ice 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 finding more and more farm. Manta is done. It's nice gold there, but yeah. In the end there, Yao. Mm, clobbered. He forced out of that fight fairly early on. He did survive at the very least, but still forced back very quickly. Surprised Black didn't focus firing, but I think he wanted to try and kill Doom before he could Doom, but in the end, Doom got the Doom off regardless, so probably should have just killed Yao, to be dead honest. Main thing is, though, they blew up Omni Knight so freaking fast, he had no chance to do anything useful. And they got him even without expanding the Forest Spear, too, which was a big thing. Is under attack. Wars coming out there. Okay, somebody lagging, I guess. Alright, so let's see how the pace of the game is going at the moment. Yeah. It's the issue, like, LGD had some good momentum, but they really didn't capitalize, and they just gave so much room for Isis to start ratting, Black to start rat farming as well. They put a lot of emphasis on slowing in that Viper as well, and in the end, just didn't really work out. And now Isis Ice has momentum, Black has momentum. Yeah. LGD are in a bit of a tight spot here. They really need some on-point dooms, like, to come out before the Chronospheres, that sort of business. And we're going to press in again, but the ults are almost back up. See, Chronosphere up in two seconds. LG, I don't think they can take this fight. Guardian Angel is up, but they have a purge ready to go against Injulai Force back there. In comes the Chronosphere, catches three, gets the beers. Well, Ember Boy can get blown up. Slider Fist going to come through the chains. There we go, Blink, Bow Strike, Ember Center on top of Yao. Yao trouble gets purified, zips out. Guardian Angel comes in. Black, though, he's got the purge, comes in on top of Faith. They want to bring him down quickly. Mech trying to keep Faith alive. Faith pops up the repel. Black, though, jumps forward, going after him. Can he slow him down? This going to get auto attack down by the Sand King as well. Faith is blown. Bow Strike, two man Bow Strike. Injulai goes down. The slow on Sylar. Sylar is doomed. Oh boy. Bye-bye, Sylar. Only Ember Spirit gets away. And that's a massive, 
Massive crushing blow there for LGD. And if BG Gaming needed any more momentum, they've got a 3.1k swing in their favor. Four heroes down, losing none in return there. Absolutely crushing LGD. Oh man, this is not looking good for them at all. 5k lead now to Vici Gaming. And yeah, there we go. Just continuing with the momentum. Go, alright, let's go for Roshan now. Guardian Angel is down. Chronosphere is down. I mean, they expend the Chronosphere in Epicenter, but I think they can take this fight regardless. Metamorphosis is down for 80 seconds as well, though. That's probably the rough thing. But they've got time to do this Doom. Well, his Doom is down as well. I don't know if you can go for this. MMY still has swap. Could try and cause some shenanigans with it. Could try and bring Isis out there as well. Isis is black as well. No, there we go. Fire strike in. They go for it with a steal. No, terribly gets the Aegis. No snatch for you. And down goes Yao. He made a desperate man's play. And in the end, it backfires in his face pretty badly there. Sila also going to back out. Meanwhile, MMY. Oh, he's got the Invisory. He's fine. Never mind. Now also backing up, but yeah, they weren't for the... <laughs> it's a desperate play there from LGD, but I mean, they need to make those kind of desperate plays at this point in time, because really, the game is quite rapidly slipping out of their grasp. Faces Void and Terrible, two really strong carries in the late game, are getting farmed. They're really hitting, the, starting to hit their stride. On top of that, Viper as well is pretty damn good in the late game as well. So, I mean, their core lineup is pretty much Amber Spirit and whatever Doom can Dyer's farm. Bottom tower it's not great. Under attack. Dyer's structures Again, I feel like fortified. Silent needs a Blink Dagger. He just doesn't have it. There's really just allowing. The issue is for LGDs, they have the, the hero abilities to counter Vici Gamer. The problem is they just do not have the initiation factor. The Alpha Strike is all in Vici's court. They can set and dictate the fights whenever they want. Like LGD, they push up to the base. Okay, they push up the base, and then Vici Gamer say, alright, we'll wait, we'll wait, wait, and BAM! Three man chrono. Now we start the fight. And just absolutely crush LGD with it. They really, again, I feel like just itemization on the Doom is strong. They need the mobility on him. And they are going to regret this. So Sans, oh, Blink Burrow, oh, dear oh, god. Burrow Strike, Epi Center, onto an Ancient Seal. And a Mystic Blade of Boot. Silent just gets wrecked. And Blackdown. Looks like he's building a Yasher, I guess. He's going for the Mantis style just to combo up with the Diffusal Blade. And I think Black should be okay here. They don't really have to lock down to kill him. Yeah, there we just time walks away, he's fine. Now LGD, what can they do in this situation? I mean they really want to get pick if they can get some pick-offs, like black and ice's ice are still sort of split farming and pushing on right. If they get these pick-offs on them and slow them down a bit and snag some of those like those big assist assist spree golds, like uh, spree gold kill things. I'm sorry. <laughs> English. My fucking god. They can get the Spree Gold, the Killing Spree Gold, on the assist for five heroes. That could be what they need to get some items to turn this around. But unfortunately, Silent is getting blown up again. Silent's up as well, slowed up by a concussive shot. Oh boy, he's, yeah, he's, no, maybe he gets away. You know, Viper Strike, he's very dead. He's going down now for sure. Ember Spirit tries to help out. Not really succeeding, though. Sanky tossed up the air. Macro Pie comes through, but he Boris strikes through first. Chronosphere on two. The Macro Pie means nothing. They get a triple kill for Ice Ice Ice. A Viper Strike again with the Agony of Scepter on top of Faith. Faith needs repel, but he's silenced up with the Ancient Seal. That's four down now. Only Yao so high. And G. GG is called LGG. They know this one's in the toilet. It's done. Beachy Gaming take this one 2 1. They had a rocky first game. Their comp was counted out by in July, but in the end, I feel like the Doom itemizations have cost them two games in a row. But Beachy Gaming, they'll take this one out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Triumph and Man. We'll be casting the next game uh, coming up. We'll be Invictus Gaming up against C Deck. That will be in a half hour. No, no, sorry, 40 minutes. So that's 40 minutes away. Stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll be back in 40 minutes.